All right, hopefully this time it's gonna work for us here. Piece of crap. Anyway, good morning. It is Sunday. It is the, what is it, the 27th, I think. And these are your morning announcements. Okay, so I want you guys to do something. If you're into woodworking, do you really need to do that while I'm trying to do a video? Drive? Drive like a maniac. I'm not driving like Crazy a person. I drive the car like you drive the car. I don't do that. You drive the I don't. So okay, bad. maybe I do. Anyways, I want if you guys like woodworking, or if you if you like uh people who, who refurbish furniture and restore it instead of just throwing it away or painting it. Um, although painting can be okay. Uh, check out Ross Taylor Woodworking. I discovered his channel by accident about two weeks ago. Started watching his videos. Um, I I've been going back in time now and watching some of his older stuff. And this guy is like a woodworking voodoo magic crazy wizard, okay? He takes stuff that, I mean, Rick and I are not afraid to pick things out of the garbage, are we, Rick? If we see something that we think is a, would make a great piece, we'll snatch that up right away. Um, and we've done that. I mean, our first set of dining room, or yeah, our first set of dining room chairs were out of the garbage, weren't they? chairs out of the garbage? We did. From the apartment building on the corner of 84th and Oklahoma, we grabbed chairs out of the garbage and we used those for a long time. Um, yeah, we did. You don't remember that? The first chairs were the green and right. white ladder back chairs from right. Walmart. Right, that's right. And we found some, remember? No, they were from Walmart. We, right, they were from Walmart, but we also found some that were like that and we got them out of the garbage and we glued them back together. Oh my gosh, Rick, you are getting Alzheimer's. Anyway, um, we also got like a thing in our backyard that Rick pulled out of the garbage. That's like a shelf. And anyways, we're not afraid to pull things out of the garbage and either is Ross Taylor. He will, he sees something. I mean, he sees things that I would have passed over because they're in such rough, rough shape. And he takes these things and he restores them back to their original beauty and it blows my mind because when you see like this morning i was watching one where he was uh fixing a like a it was like a, a three-legged pedestal uh, card table with a leaf and i looked at this thing i mean it had like all the all the like veneer layers were coming apart it was like in many pieces things were broken on it had a big chip out of the veneer on the leaf i'm like there is no way he's going to be able to fix this thing and make it look pretty and i have that believe it or not every with almost every one of his videos i'm like he's not going to be able to fix this thing and then by the end i'm like he fixed this thing and then i tell rick about it i can't believe he did this he just blah 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 there's a lot of that because it's like what how did he do this where did he get this skill and on top of it he's a picker so i mean he's always going to rummage sales and thrift stores and all kinds of stuff hi jim our car makes jim's speaker buzz i'm sorry <laughs> oh see now look Anyway, so go go check out Ross Taylor Woodworking. I, I'm really impressed with the stuff that he does. He seems like he's a very cool cat. Um, I wish I wish he lived closer. I'd go thrifting with him any day of the week. Uh, yeah, neat guy. So go check him out if you like woodworking and if you like restoration projects and stuff like that. It's very cold today. What is the temperature today, Mr. Hug? Minus three. Minus three. Jim, what is it up by you? It's got to be even colder up there. Yeah, minus three, but the sun, again, the sun's shining. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Um, I'll take a sunny, cool day over a gray day any day. Oh, it's minus eight up in Green Bay. Oh, my. Yes, there is another big storm coming. I'm very concerned about this big storm, in fact. 
because again it's going to be followed by this crazy crazy icy business and that's not fun when you <laughs> work in a building where you got to make sure that like you know the sidewalks are are nice and clear so that nobody falls and hurts themselves and we have we're on a corner so we have a lot of real estate at work um and the guy who normally does our snow blowing is out of town although he may be back in town today I think. i'm not sure you have to check on that but i worry about him because he's he's uh I mean, anybody in this cold, anybody in this kind of weather, I worry about, you know, going out and having to do that. But I, I worry about my coworker a lot because I love him. And he's our age, you know. We're not spring chickens anymore. You're not. I am. Okay. <laughs> what does the chicken say? <laughs> I just made it a thing. No. I made it a thing. No. I just did. It's on the internet. It must be a thing. This guy. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy cold. I know when it's crazy cold when the cats like love to sit next to the heating vents on the floor. <laughs> Have you found them doing that? They, yeah, but it's, they know. Because it's so cold in our house. It's not. It's not cold in our house. It's warm enough where I'm in shorts the whole winter when I'm at home. But the cats sense it coming, I think. And they lay down in front of the, the little heater and keep themselves warm in front of the vents. I think that's very cute. Last night they were sleeping together. If you have me as a friend on Facebook, hey, good morning, Tommy. If you have me as a friend on Facebook, you will have seen this picture that I posted last night of the two cats sleeping in one bed together and they're like literally have their arms wrapped around each other. It is the cutest thing. Oh, all the feels, all of them. Yeah, so Tommy, I was just saying it's it's negative, what is it now? Negative three degrees here in Milwaukee. Uh, Jim, who is also on the, the chat here, he's up in Green Bay, and it's like negative 8 up there. It's very cold. Very, very cold. Very sunny, but very cold. And we're supposed to get, how much snow are we getting tonight? Did they tonight only an inch. Tomorrow we're supposed to get like 6, 7. Oh my gosh. Where are we going to go with all that snow? Morning, Robert Burke. It is negative 3 here, Robert Burke. Sunny, but cold. That's my weather report. It is what it is. We're tough. It, 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 this blows me away, okay? Again, totally freezing out, right? And it was packed at work. The, every tour was packed yesterday with people coming in. The cold weather does not stop people here in Wisconsin. It does not. There were guys, did you see, well, you saw it. There were guys wearing later hosen. <laughs> later hosen t-shirts that showed up to all these people and there was women too it was women and men the whole big group showed up at best place they were all wearing later hosen t-shirts it was really fun i was like where do we get that i want one don't you want a later later hosen t-shirt see even rick wants a later hosen t-shirt that's his german heritage in him see i want one i want later hosen i think that'd be great Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, race car. <laughs> yes, we're in the race car. Well, and you know, because it's so cold, the car is really rigid too. So I'm sure that's adding to the sound. It's race car, squeaky. Rachel. Yeah, very squeaky. Yeah, the polar vortex. Jim, why is it that, I don't know, have you lived in Wisconsin your whole life? Why is it that before you know, the 2000s, I never heard the term polar vortex. Did you? No. Nope. Never heard it. That's not a thing. <laughs> it's made up. The polar vortex. 
Negative 17? Oh my God! Yeah, it's negative three here, negative eight up in Green Bay. And where Tommy's at, I'm sure it's like 50. <laughs> it might be colder, I don't know. Yeah, you know, um, Rick and I talk about this often, about how when we were kids, you know, Rick and I were kids in the 70s, um, in the early 70s, and we remember winters always being a hell of a lot more snowy than they are now, and a lot more cold. And I don't know if that's just our childhood memories exaggerated, or if that was really the case, but it sure seems like they're a, a lot, a lot uh, milder now than they were when we were kids. But I don't know. We might be just dreaming that. I don't know. Back before, back before people knew how to read and write, and there was no internet, and oh and there was only like two TV channels. Well, you're actually in Chicago. You are 90 miles south of me, Gerald. That's it. You're an hour and a half south of me. That's it. I make that trip a lot. I used to anyways. All right, I'm at work, guys. I love you. Thanks for spending time with me. Mwah! Again, go check out Ross Taylor Woodworking. Awesome guy. Cool dude. Let's give him some love. Take care. Look at Rick in the back there. Do you see him? Just standing there with his Packers jersey on. 